Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I am actually recreating one of my ice cream girl paintings and this one actually didn't end up being one of my final paintings. Um, if you didn't know, I did a series of ice cream girl paintings back in, I think it was 2013. It was my final year of uni and I did a series based around this idea um, and I really like them and I haven't really done any since. So I thought I would revisit that idea. Um, and this one is actually a copy of one of my studies that I did. Like I said, it didn't end up being kind of like a finished painting. It was only more of like a quick study, just practicing different compositions and colors and that kind of thing. But I really do like the composition of this piece. I just wasn't really happy with the color scheme. So that's why I've decided to kind of redo it. Um, and yeah, so because I had already um, drawn this out myself for the study painting um, to save time I actually decided to trace it and I don't have a problem with tracing my own original drawings because it's my own work um, I, I don't see that as cheating or anything um, you know if you need to enlarge one of your drawings and copy it over to a bigger canvas I guess it's a similar kind of thing I just transferred you know my first drawing onto a second canvas basically um, and it saved me a lot of time I could have drawn it freehand if I wanted to but I was a bit uh, low on time so I was like look I'm just gonna make it easier for myself um, and yeah I think the main difference with this version is the color scheme and I just wasn't happy with the other one um, the other one had like a dark blue background and the ice cream was actually silver um, and she had orange glasses and I mean that colour scheme kind of works but I definitely feel like I could have done a better job so that's why I decided on this one and to actually help with the colour scheme I took a photo of the original and then I altered the colors in Photoshop to figure out a really good color scheme that will work. Again, to save time, I could have done small color comps in paint if I really needed to, but Photoshop is really great for making quick color comps. So yeah, one thing about that though is you have to make sure that you have like the paint colors for the colors that you're putting together on your computer screen. So. Yeah, um, I guess I'll just give you some tips on painting in a pop art style. Um, so the first one I have is that you're going to have to get used to painting multiple layers in the same colour. Um, and that's because I think the pop art style looks much better when the paint is really opaque. Um, and generally for me, two layers is enough. Um, but obviously there might be more in case maybe you change your mind on one of the colors um, and that kind of thing. So yeah, get used to painting the same layer a couple of times. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's just like painting within the lines. Um, but it does make it really easy to change colors if you need to, just because it is in the one area. Um, and yeah, another tip I have is to actually um, store your mixed colors in little tubs. And that's because if you mess up in one area, then you have the right color to fix it. And I mean, this does apply to any style of painting, but I feel like it's really important for a pop art style just because the color has to be exact. Like. I feel like with a more painterly style, you can get away with the color maybe not matching 100% and it's not really noticeable. But if I went to fix up an area, say in the background, where I stuffed up, 
in a slightly different color it's going to be really noticeable like if the color is maybe a bit too dark you know um, so yeah keep your mixed colors in small tubs that are airtight so they won't dry out um, and yeah another thing to keep in mind are your values and an easy way to check this is to just take a photo of your painting and then um, desaturate it. I just use a photo editing app on my phone to do that and it's really easy to just see if things are kind of blending in too much. For example with this painting the ice cream was actually blending in way too much with the background. So like the figure was standing out but then nothing else was and it didn't look quite right. So. I lightened those up and now it looks a lot better. And like always, I think it's really important to kind of plan out your painting. And especially for a pop art style painting, just because I mean, you definitely can start a bit more messier and kind of build up from there and refine everything. But I feel like it's a lot quicker if you plan it out beforehand and you know, that's not for everybody. but. I think because pop art it's such like um, a refined style and it's you know very almost kind of graphic in a way um, it does make things easier if you plan it out and plan out your color scheme because that way you're not going to be painting over the same area a million times just because you don't like the color um, and yeah hopefully these tips helped and that you liked watching the process for this painting um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. That way you won't miss any of my videos. Um, and yeah, anyway, here's the final painting. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.